To start, you first need to add the roles. So in Server Manager, click on Manage and then Add Roles and Features. At the Select Installation Type screen, you obviously need to choose a Remote Desktop Services installation. For Deployment Type, I'm choosing Quick Start, which will install all the roles on a single server. But for a large production environment, you will want to choose the standard deployment. The multi-point services type is a managed standalone multi-user environment and is outside the scope of this video. We want to choose a session-based desktop deployment rather than the VDI type of deployment here. Having chosen Quick Start earlier, the install wizard will now go ahead and automatically install the remote desktop connection broker, web access and session host role services. Uh, using the credentials of the currently logged in domain user. And you'll get a warning that a restart will be required after the role services have been installed. Tick the box for restart the destination server automatically. Then click deploy. Wait whilst the role services install and then click close. So servers rebooted and we're back in server manager and you can now click on the remote desktop services to finish the setup. So for this deployment I'm installing all the roles on a single server but again for a large production environment you'll be wanting to install the roles on different servers. So I want to install the remote desktop gateway click on RD gateway and then choose to install the role on the local server. and then enter the external fully qualified domain name of the gateway server. In this case, it's going to be rds-poc.techsnips.io. Once installed, you'll get a warning that you need to configure a certificate for the remote desktop gateway to use. The next thing to configure will be a remote desktop license server. And again, we're going to install the role here but in a large production environment, you would have a central licensing server to issue the licenses for all the session host servers. With all the roles installed, it looks like we would be almost done. But in fact, the deployment needs further configuration. Click on Tasks and then Edit Deployment Properties. Many of these settings have been configured in earlier steps when we were installing the roles. You want to keep the default settings for the gateway server and then you'll need to choose a licensing mode and I've opted here for the per user mode. As we installed the role here the remote desktop license server is already specified. And again web access has already been configured so that just leaves the certificates to configure. There are four role services which will require certificates to function correctly. So this could be a self-signed certificate or one from uh, an internal CA server or you can use one signed by a public certificate authority. You'll need to click on each role service in turn, uh, add certificate and then click apply. And I'm going to be using the same certificate for each of the four role services. With that done, we're now finally ready to publish the remote apps. As we chose a quick start deployment at the start of this process, a remote app collection has already been set up for us, and the calculator, paint and wordpad applications have been automatically published. You might decide that you want to unpublish one of these applications, so just click on tasks and then unpublish remote app programs. And in the new window, tick the app that you want to remove, uh, click Next, and then Unpublish. To then publish a new remote app, click on Tasks, and then Publish Remote App Program. The server will do a check, and then you'll be presented with a list of all the installed applications. To publish an app from the list, just simply tick the box next to it. 
or if you wish to publish an app which isn't in the list, click on Add and then browse to the location of the executable file. And then click Next and then Publish. To then access the published applications, open up your web browser and browse to the RD Web URL. Log in with your domain username and password. Uh, you will then see a page of all the published apps. Click on an app, then click Connect in the remote app pop up to launch it. You may wish to restrict a particular app to only certain users. Right click on the app and select Edit Properties. There are quite a number of different properties that you can configure here, but we're interested in user assignment. Click on this in the sidebar and then click the radio button for only specified users and groups. Click Add and then select the group or individual that you wish to have access to this application. And then we're done. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.